Oh my, my. What an interesting dream to invade. Have no fear, little mortal. I won't devour you entirely. I like to take my time with interesting ones like you. Your reactions look like they would be worthwhile, so I suggest you don't hold anything back. Oh my my. Am I to take that as an invitation? Or is it something more sinister? <laughs> as though it wouldn't matter in the first place. I never asked for anything other than your honest reactions to what I do to you. You've clearly gone off the deep end to be meeting me so full of life, so interesting. The way you see me, what is it? The way you ache for me, why? <laughs> Is seeing a dream demon, a nightmare of lust and love, too much for your puny little heart? <sighs> but then again, look at how my hands wrap around your neck. You love this, don't you? Even if you'd like to deny it. You enjoy getting pushed around, don't you? <laughs> But even then, why should I waste my time, you might be asking. Well, you have an exquisite look on your face right now, right this second. And I want to have a taste. In fact, I want to devour you. If you end up surviving, well... You probably will, knowing how stubbornly you avoid my advances. I always like the rebellious ones. Always make the most beautiful noises in the end. <laughs> now, back to the order of business. What is it you feel right now? Hmm. <laughs> Yes, say it, and say it clearly. I want to feel you, but the only way I do is with honesty from you. Trust me, lies. People love lies, they fucking adore them. But they're useless when you compare them to the real deal. Truth is always more fascinating more stunning, and far more elaborate, deadly, and a lot more sexy in a lot of cases. This particular area of your dream, it interests me, you know? Sometimes you just get enamored by it. Sometimes you get lost in it. Other times it's just... A matter of formality. But what do you want it to be? This is about your desire, after all. I look exactly how you wish I would. I am your own escape from this bitter, lonely, terrible world. <laughs> so why don't you come to my arms? There's just no promises. My hands won't wander. No promises they won't be around your throat. And no promises they won't... To think you would tackle me. <laughs> well then, what does it even mean? You... Making an advance on a very demon inside your soul. How strange. Are you sure this is what you want? Your skin might get broken. Your eyes might lose their shine. 
And of course, there might be lasting scars. Even then, you would still embrace me. <laughs> You're interesting. That is for sure. I only wonder which one of us suits you better. The more honest one, or the pretty little lies. Idealism. Fiction. Where does one end and the next begin? Reality is just a series of moving pictures. But you and I, we have feeling to prove. This right now is more than just a dream. More than a nightmare. More than an escape. This is our profession. This is what makes me whole. And this, perhaps, might be the only thing that keeps you sane. I know what it's like. Believe it or not, you're not alone. You're not the only one. Even if you might be something special. Even then, would you still embrace me? <laughs> you have not guard display of giving in. It makes you such a fun little toy to break. The only question is, how long do you intend to stay like this? Not so hard. Squeezing that hard and... You're tougher than I thought. Very much so. Is this revenge for another lifetime I'm unaware of? I wonder. <laughs> you almost seem to know more about me than I know about you, which should be impossible. And yet here we are. This place, where you can see into the mirror looking back. What do you see? What does it mean to you? Hmm? You could just enjoy it. Every little thing. Wasting not a single effort. Isn't that how it's best? A dish served hot. So much so you burn yourself. That cat tongue of yours pressed firmly against mine. And then, what? What do you see all this as, I wonder? Am I just a clever illusion? Or maybe... Your long lost love. Here to wrap these arms around you and choke all denial. All doubt out of your mind. I refuse to let a single thing stop us. You see, I'm not someone who can leave things halfway. I'm not someone who would ever let you leave unsatisfied, unfulfilled, unabated because you, you, my dear, a value beyond what you might know. Value and understanding. Things that require so, so much more. And yet here you are, sharing with me. So evidently, adequately, and oh, so joyously. But why? Why do you feel so comfortable, I wonder? I've seen this from the start, but... The more you confuse me, the more I want to know, the more I want to get to know you. So, against my better judgment, you will be wasting your time with me, stuck here, indefinitely in this dream or nightmare, depending on what you want it to be. Now the question is... How do you feel right now? 
How does it feel to be so enamored? So lost in a feeling that you can't even describe with words. <laughs> even now, you never cease to surprise me. The side of you, you're more honest than I gave you credit for. This honest pursuit of what? What are you aiming at? When you look in my eyes, when you see the devil in front of you, why don't you turn away and run? Instead, you cuddle closer. Ah, uh, so that's it. Your enamoring can only take you so far before your baser instincts start showing. Am I right? The way that you're squirming for me, you're in love. Aren't you in love with someone so dangerous, sinister, and otherwise very much? No, I can't go spoiling you with every answer, can I? But let's just say our relationship might benefit me just slightly more than you. How does that make you feel? Does it make you feel lucky? Does it make you feel... Special, even still. Even after every word, you seem still intent on moving forward. My, my. You're a troublemaker to the very end, aren't you? Someone who would gladly throw yourself at my feet, kiss the very ground I walk on, and give me everything I could ever ask from you. <laughs> Just kidding. Though with that expression you gave, it almost seemed like you would say that right then and there. Like you'd pledge your loyalty to the very devil himself to be a toy just for me. <laughs> Even then, there has to be limits, isn't there? Limits to the bottom of the barrel. Limits to things that even you wouldn't compromise on. You have your pride, after all. And it is such a cute pride. A pride truly worth respecting. And, of course, breaking. But it all depends on what choices you make. On what you wish to do with that life of yours. Time is everything to you mortals. But to me, it's nothing more than a pendulum in my way. Nothing that could ever stop me from my goals but a minor annoyance. And for you in my arms, what do you feel? There's a heartbeat even in I. How does that make you feel? What does it make you feel? I want to know every little detail, so say it, feel it, think it, ache it. <laughs> Even now, you're so interesting, so wonderfully complex and varied in how you portray yourself, being both your downfall and your most treasured asset all in one. It's so entertaining to watch. I wonder how much more could you take of these cuddles you incessantly give? How much more before you break yourself, falling in love with me endlessly? Make no mistake, none of this is forced or pushed upon you. I can merely see the obvious unfolding right in front of me, judging by how much and how little you have. There are two sides to every human. I just have to wonder which two sides you'll show me. <laughs> you see... There is no choice when it comes to things like this. It's only a matter of instincts versus reality. Do you consider yourself more of a realist? Or perhaps a dreamer? And if the latter, that explains our snug connection like this. 
You're a fan of me, you say. Interesting. So fictional depictions of me. But now that you have me in your arms in the flesh, at least within this nightmare, how does it feel to be this close? <laughs> I can sense those lewd intentions as well as those romantic ones. You want me to toy with you, don't you? You want me to say words far beyond that of just mere acquaintances. You want something more from me. Then you should say it clearly. If you don't, I wouldn't dream of giving it to you. Whatever it is you desire, whatever it is you want, you have to be more specific. I can show you visions of things you want, as well as real feelings of what it feels like to be right here in my arms. But of course, there are limitations, like if you want to see me in the real world. You see, our meeting is one giant convoluted mess of an invitation. You offering me an invitation to the reality of which you want me to be in. Of course, no guarantee it'll work this time. But this is our first chance meeting if you wish to view it that way. Why bother squandering such a wondrous occasion? <laughs> you... Have such kissable lips and such a comfortable neck to wrap my arms around. <laughs> Where's your mind? I was just holding you. I would never harm you, would I? Do I seem like the harmful type of sleep demon? <laughs> of course not. I only want what's best for you. Can't you tell? A touch, a taste, a sensual little morsel. I don't want to share, of course, but who would? Who would waste a moment that they could have all to themselves? <laughs> Simple mortals after you could never, ever entice you the way I do. Once you know my touch and taste, I'm afraid there's no one that will do quite like me. But you love that, don't you? You enjoy the fact that it's much like that. That it's your dreams come true in a different kind of way than a fairy tale would take you. <laughs> You're so cute when you make an honest expression. When your eyes and mouth and features all match. When you're so inclined to feel something just for me. Ah, your scent is exquisite. You probably have no idea of how you smell right now. You smell of that desire, that unkempt wish to always have me, to feel so whole with me, to have every ounce of my attention, my focus, my obsession, every thought, every feeling wrapped around you like a warm embrace squeezing the life out of you. But of course, I couldn't make it that dangerous, could I? My intention isn't to harm you. It's to make you mine, so of course our intentions and wills align. Don't you think? Otherwise, you would have wished me away by now. Believe it or not, you have all the control here. And I wouldn't be telling you this if I didn't fully believe that you wanted to be here. If I didn't fully understand that you were the one who wished for this. You were the one who always wanted me to be here with you, didn't you? You wanted me to be something for you. You wanted me to taste and touch and feel and be. Because 
You lack that sometimes, don't you? But don't feel bad. It's the same even for us demons. We lack things that we need. A sense of purpose and place only comes with decades, eons, it doesn't matter when. But eventually, we find our mark. We taste and touch and be together endlessly. Endlessly, you and I. <laughs> of course, there's many sides to this. Our corporeal form is coming for you. When you least expect it. When your eyes open just for me, you'll see my smile. My hands, my teeth, my kiss placed gently on you. No different than now. <laughs> oh, did I bite? I never said I didn't. <laughs> but even then, you misunderstand me. I do not have ill will to you, because much the same as you wish for my attention, I ache for yours. Mutual benefit, mutual understanding, and of course mutual desires. All of these are prerequisites to our meeting. You thought about me, and thus I came to you so diligently. Don't you feel special that it was you out of trillions? Yes, there's more to meet the eye, but the touch and taste of your soul is enough for me. You see, I came here both to take what I want and to give what you need. <laughs> You're so sweet to me, and that sweetness is deadly, you know. A kryptonite to the Superman in front of you. A madness to the order of which you've lived. Those tendencies to which you hide behind sometimes. I know you better than you know yourself. And you might just know me better than I know myself. Which is an interesting subject, ain't it? This entire thing feels so enamoring, so strangling. But even now, even then, it never mattered which way things went. Only that the momentum continued on this momentous occasion. My, how you've become so much like me. <laughs> Interesting, so it's not just a base instinct after all. So you honestly just wanted to get to know me. Well, it wasn't the only thing you wanted. I can feel your lust just as much as your adoration. Now, how does it feel? This wonderful, momentous meeting. Speak your mind. Tell me everything. Hmm. Interesting. So that's how you see me. <laughs> I might be more of a monster in your world than even in this. But still, my form matters not. Nor does the form of fiction that shares my name, because I am me. I share nothing with anyone except those I choose. And trust me, my dear, you have been chosen so diligently. <laughs> now, why don't you admit it? This is exactly where you belong. For indefinitely, at least until you can come to grips with this crush you have on me. Or maybe, instead of solving the crush, I can make it worse. 
I could take my time and stir you up in ways no one could. Tenderly tending to every little thing you thought impossible. Don't you enjoy it? The taste and the touch, the feelings unending that never stop between you and I. Savor it, my dear. Because savoring is part of the fall. <laughs> you need not fear anything else. Because I will savor you as much as I save you. <laughs> Relax, my captive audience, my enamorment. My obsessive little model. This will be your life from now on. This will be what you strive for. What you are deep down. Who you are deep down. Everything happens because you willed it to. And because I allowed it. <laughs> And right now, I love the way your lips tremble. I love the way my hands slide over your smooth skin. I love that feeling of warmth and even your heartbeat matching mine. This size and shape is perfect. This twisted romance has only just begun. <laughs> Show me that. That's ideal. Make me feel. If you dare. Because I will if you don't. <laughs> you see, this madness. This unending little madness that we call whatever we wish to name it as will be done whether we like to admit it or not. This will become your everything. Your magnum opus. Will you dance in my arms? Will you feel because I want you to? Will you understand? This is what your heart truly, truly desires. Now show me. Show me those sides you wouldn't dare show anyone else. Show me those apprehensions and toss them to the side. I will accept nothing less. Because it's you now who owes me. You owe me an honest reaction, an honest truth of what you truly desire. What do you want me to do to you? Or conversely, what is it you intend to do with me? <laughs> Speak. Don't hold back now. There's absolutely no reason to. No conviction, if you don't give every little ounce of that wonderful smile, all those words meant for a romance twisted into oblivion by this most innocent moment, a hug and embrace of two hearts, one which I would never corrupt or deny. One of which you deserve so earnestly. You're so honest with me, I love it. Like I said, those lies, they only ever save those who don't take the time to understand who they're speaking with. But once you make that connection where trust is established, or at least an understanding, that nothing and no one and never could get in the way. Because then, 
You have that celebratory, wondrous binding of a contract in unwritten words, the tender words that make your spine crawl and your heart race. It's a wonderful little combination, don't you think? One that makes you excited, scared, and enticed all in one. But at the same time, it's not that simple, is it? You have your shame to consider your pride. But what do those matter in the greater scheme of things when you're wrapped around a demon which you love? A specter of your own desires, so evidently shoved in your face and wrapped around every tender moment. You want me, don't you? <laughs> You could never deny that truth. Not without denying yourself first, which no one should ever be forced to do. The honest truth is, I was made for you as you were made for me. Us endlessly entwined is our fate and our conviction. You will be mine, and I shall willfully potentially be yours. <laughs> Show me something, won't you? The sound your heart makes when you can't deny. The touch and taste of your own deepest, darkest secret presented to you on a silver platter. <laughs> I think you've misunderstood me, at least partially. When I use my hands like this, when I use my tongue like this, <laughs> there's always a caveat, a catch, right? After all, I'm a demon, aren't I? But what if I told you there wasn't, there never will be, because I choose not to make that how I am, because I choose when I grab you, when I hold you to do it with love instead of twisted meanings, or so that's what I'd have you believe. Now the question is, how much can you trust me really? <laughs> I wonder, with those eyes, what you're thinking, even as my hands wander and your own are less innocent than an angel's. Then what comes next? What do you want to taste? Misery, madness, true love, true fear. Maybe some twisted combination of multiple of those. Isn't that right? <laughs> Your honesty betrays you. <sighs> yes, this is what I've been waiting for. This testament to our body's compatibility. This, as you humans would call chemistry, between us, and the still wet strands of saliva dripping down your face as a promise unwritten of how much you are into every single kiss. Use your tongue more. I mean it. Uh, yes, that silky sweet touch between us, 
a sacrament to everything we hold dear. That wonderful, satiating feeling of our touches meeting, our bodies heating up, and the endless desires of mortal flesh, love making, and the sweetest kisses of flesh on flesh. I want your flesh to kiss mine like that. I want your agonizing pleasure to be my own and to share with it until every ounce and every breath is spent towards focusing on that feeling, that stimulation of touch and taste and want and need. I want this to be a promise in flesh and sloppy, messy feelings that never end. Endless feelings that keep on going like this. Feeling you. Tasting you. Being with you and making you feel love physically and emotionally. This is everything to me. What do you call this? Kisses in love, no. This is abomination. In every kiss, in every touch, until you cannot deny it, until your features are so adamantly and satiatingly enticed that you lose your mind for me, just for me. My cute little pet. <laughs> Unless you'd like to be my toy, my lover. It makes no difference, does it? But the hands wrapped around your neck and your waist make everything make sense. The feelings of our embrace. Mm -hmm. Ecstasy in palpable form. Feelings without end. I will devour your senses with pure enjoyment and the satiating feeling of taking you to my level. Taking you in my arms, savoring every feeling and making you savor it too. I think this is love. Don't you? Your dreams and nightmares, I'll become all of them mixed into one. Just for you. For you and you alone. My sweetest love. My most twisted love and my most adorable one. <laughs> Yeah.